guys, Mary in here. Welcome back to my channel and Shana Tova. Today I have another Rosh Hashanah video for you guys and I'm so excited to share it. I'm so excited to film it because I'm going to be decorating my home for the high holidays. So welcome to my home, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and I make videos about being a Jewish mom. I upload on Mondays and Thursdays and I would love it if you click that subscribe button down below. This video is also a collab with some of my most favorite Jewish moms out there on the internet. They're all YouTubers and they've made Rosh Hashanah content for you guys as well. I will link all their videos down below so you guys can go check them out. And you should also follow all of them on Instagram as well so you can see lots of videos, tips, ideas for celebrating the holidays. Okay, so let's jump in. The first thing I'm going to do is gather all the stuff I can think of that relates to Rosh Hashanah and decorating my home for Rosh Hashanah and just gather it here on the table so I can kind of assess what I have and where it should go in my home. Uh, this is also sort of the beginning of like decorating for fall in my house so you'll see a lot of like amber and orange tones and is decorating just the best oh i love it so much okay let's get started okay so here's all the rosh hashanah stuff i've got collected starting with the most important thing which is our shofar which is um really interesting because it's actually been in my husband's office in our house for since we moved in basically and i never thought to bring it out for rosh hashanah so i'm excited that i remembered it for this year then I've got these paper um, pomegranates that are actually napkin holders. My sister sent these to me. I don't know where she got them, but they're super cute. If I find out, I will link it in the description bar. By the way, everything here that can be linked, I will link down below in the description bar. Then this is another favorite piece of mine. This is by the artist Michael Aram, and it's actually a honey jar for serving honey for Rosh Hashanah. So cute um, and really beautiful. I believe we got this for our wedding. I can definitely link it below, but yeah, that's one of my favorite pieces. Then I've got two candlesticks. You light candles on the first night of Rosh Hashanah to welcome in the holiday, so I'm really excited to have these beautiful ones from Annie Glass on the table. And then speaking of candles, this I picked up in our grocery store one year, I think like around Valentine's Day for uh, $4.99, so that's been really good. And then I've got this candle as well I'm gonna work in somehow. Then over here, my mom sent me this honey that says Shana Tava on it. This is something a lot of synagogues do around the high holidays. You can mail gifts like these to friends and family. So this arrived yesterday, so just in time. Then I've got my letter board. So I think I'm gonna write either like Shana Tova or have a sweet new year, something like that on here. This is from Amazon, by the way. I can definitely link that. Then I found this picture of Max from Rosh Hashanah last year. He's holding a shofar, so cute. Um, and just this frame. Um, so I think I'm gonna put that in here and find somewhere to hang that. This bowl is also by Annie Glass. It's another one of my most favorite things in my home. And I'm gonna get apples to fill in there. I actually don't have enough apples right now in my home, but I'm gonna jump to the grocery store and put some apples in there. And then I have these Shana Tova cards. These are I will link, it's like a subscription box. I'll link everything below. But they're actually cards you can send out to friends and family. Um, really cute, but I think I might frame the, one of them or find somewhere to hang it in my home. And then moving right along, I've got these honey sticks that also came in that same collaboration box. And I found this little vase, so I might put them in there. And then the last thing I have is just some like fall leaves. I don't remember where these were from. I want to say the dollar section at Target a few years ago. But yeah, so that's everything I got and let's get to decorating. So I finished decorating the dining room table. We are going to be hosting family and friends for Rosh Hashanah lunch on the first day. So obviously um, the day before I'll like actually set the table and everything. So this is more like our home decor, you know, as we lead up to Rosh Hashanah. And then I might do a whole separate video actually on preparing for that lunch. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that um, if you guys think that you'd like to watch that because it will be a little stressful for me like cooking and getting everything ready But if something you're interested in I'll definitely film it. Okay, so anyways now I'm going to show you guys This is our like front entryway to the house and I always like to decorate this for holidays too just a little bit So I'll show you guys what it looks like now So this is what the area normally looks like and then I just pulled out the honey the Shana Tova Umetuka 
next sign. This is like the traditional greeting for Rosh Hashanah. We wish people a sweet new year. Matuka is sweet. And then this little picture of my sweet little boy. And then I also found, I forgot about this kid craft set that we have. This is like a wooden um, Rosh Hashanah set with all like kiddish cups and everything like that. So um, actually the kiddish cup is the one part I've lost. That's funny that I said that. Um, but everything else is in there so I might set that up here as well. Also for anyone who loves to spot my doggies in my videos. Here's one. This is Reedy. And here's the other one. Hi Rocky. Hi. And this is all my son's toys by the way. And then I'm also going to be decorating this area last. Okay. Let's get going. So I'm going to show you guys all the final products. I'm trying not to be too OTT, but I do really love decorating my home. So I try to keep it like subtle and, you know, classy, but I just love the holidays. So yeah, that is how I express my joy and excitement leading up to the special day. Okay, let me walk you guys through it. Okay, so there's my doggy among our mess of toys because this is real life. And here is our fireplace mantle. So I just removed the two blue candles, which actually have been up since Hanukkah. So it was time for them to go and added these beautiful little pomegranate papers, our little Shana Tava sign and this silver candle. And here is the finished look. By the way, if you caught a big three balloon in the background, my son just turned three years old. <laughs> and that's what that looks like. Then moving over to our dining room table, I've got the honey sticks and the little honey jar, my red candles, the shofar, the high holiday candles, and the little bowl where I'm gonna put some apples. And then last but not least, this is the entryway to our home. And I've got my Shana Tava Umetu Ka sign, Max's little picture, a little honey jar, and this is the kid craft set that we have. Like I mentioned, we're missing the kiddush cup, but we have everything else um, right there. So that's a little entryway. So that is it. That is my home all decorated and ready for Rosh Hashanah. Like I mentioned, we are going to be hosting a Rosh Hashanah lunch for family and friends. So I really wanted the house to look special and to be festive, to just get everyone excited for the new year. And I just want to wish you all a Shana Tova. Thank you so much to everyone who's been watching my content and subscribe to my channel. It just means so much to me and I wish all of you a very happy and healthy and sweet new year. See you in the next one. Bye!